it is time for Coffee Talk. I have Eric Soderstrom on the line. He is an artist and illustrator and super excited to be talking with him today. Good morning, Eric. Good morning. How are you today? Oh, not too shabby. Not Well, remember, you're a winner. You called in exactly at the right time, so you're already a winner. All right. Good. <laughs> See? Can't wait to get my prize. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, so there's so much to talk about. I connected with you, well, through a friend, and because you are local, you are from Two Harbors? Yep. Born and raised, graduated, all that stuff? Mm Mm-hmm. All right, and you currently live in Silver Bay? That is correct, yep. Yes, and um, this is kind of like a joint effort here that you illustrated as an artist a children's book that came out earlier this year, New Moon's Family, from our own KTWH uh, radio host, Erica Adams, she does the Tail Collector show here, and you were the illustrator. So how how did you guys connect to do this book? Um, Well, uh, Erica is a part of a uh, writer's group, I guess that meets at the library, and I'm a part of uh, Voyager Artist. Okay. Um, And uh, there's a Shelley Getton uh, is in both groups, Uh and uh, Erica was doing yeah, Erica was doing a story at the time on dragons, and she said, you got to go come see our dragon guy, which we have some artwork down at the at the Voyage Art Center down there. So Okay. Uh, so she decided that, but then she came up with this other story that she had written already. She's still working on that the dragon story. So Okay. But yeah, we, she asked me, and uh, it was a long time ago. It was about two years from the time she asked me to... So when the book came out, it actually came out at the end of last year, okay. October first, and that. But yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I was introduced but, to it in January, so it's been out since right. October. So awesome! So, what got you excited about this project? You said that she had already had part of it written. So, what? Yeah. 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 She had written. Yeah, she had written it. Uh, I actually several years ago and that and she fine tuned it for the for the book but I've always been interested in uh, illustrating a book and that so I thought well that was my chance I better jump at it so Oh so this is your first time illustrating Yeah yeah What yeah, did I've you been, think of the process Uh there's a lot to it um, <laughs> yeah. There's a lot to it Uh most of my artwork well basically all of it is just whatever I wanted to make type thing. So, uh, yeah, it's the first time uh, to do art for someone else and for what they're, what for what they want. And, right. Uh, cause of, yeah, because of that, I decided, well, uh, I better get a computer and figure out how to use it and that because, uh, <laughs> because it's always like, well, the moon, could the moon be a little higher or, you know, can you move this over here and that and so instead of doing a new picture every time uh, uh-huh. when you do stuff on computers you can work on layers and you can move layers around and that so it just saves a little little as far as mapping out where your page is going to be and stuff so right so did you have like a storyboard like you had an idea of what you were going to do for each page or how did that process work? You said that you were doing it in layers and changing things around, but did you have an overall concept of where you were going to go with it? Uh, right, yeah. Well, she self-published through Beaver, Beaver's Pond Press down in uh, Egan or Edina, I can't remember. Okay. <laughs> she had met with um, a supervisor there, and they mapped out kind of how they wanted the story to flow and, oh, and okay. uh, different things on pages. For the beginning, though, it, it took a while just to figure out what we're going to do and how to tell the story because it's a conversation between the new moon and the sun. Mm-hmm. And um, to fill a whole book with that, it's kind of difficult <laughs> because because it's just, you know, the round moon and the round sun. They don't have, you know, arms and legs or whatever to 
oh, could make the story more exciting in that. That's and a that, very good point. Right. And then, two, because it's so big, I'll, um, I, I have pictures of uh, different scenes of people on, um, you know, playing outside at night and stuff. Mm-hmm. But uh, the story's going on in the background, and then you have interesting things up front, but I, I wanted to keep the focus on the sun and the moon, so most of the people, you can't really see their faces and mm-hmm. their backs are to, to the viewer and that, but just uh, to make it interesting, but keep the story on the sun and the moon. Right, and, uh, exactly. And know what? Your moons are so endearing. You just want to, like, hug them. And like you said, there's no arms or legs. or any, it's, it's a face, but there's so much personality in each of the each individual page. Because this book is, do you want to summarize it really quick? It's a children's story. It's educational and entertaining about the phases of the moon. Yep. Yep. And it's also just uh, kind of a universal story about uh, feeling alone and missing, missing loved ones too so it works you know that way so everybody understands i was, i donated one to uh to the elementary school here in uh silver bay and i was talking to the librarian there and she said that she's read it to all the classes through sixth grade and uh she said all oh, the kids really like it and they're really engaged in the story because it's not just it's not written for just little kids i mean there's exactly. there's some challenging words in there and stuff but it's written in uh what do you call that well not in rhyme but yeah right so, i mean it, it's a very it's a lyrical to read it yep there you go that's that yeah that, so. yep it's lyrical and it's um and that's a very good point because it's the poor moon is feeling sad that like he misses the sun and he he misses all of his family and this is about knowing that they're on the other side that you have to wait until the sun comes around to show the rest of the family of the moon. It's a brilliant story, and you captured the feeling of it. I mean, it illustration is a huge part of the story itself, and you just made the story come to life. It's it's absolutely beautiful. Well, you know, thank you. Yeah, I was like I said, it was a long long process. <laughs> But, you know, probably because of the long process, it, it helped flush out uh, uh, pictures more because mm-hmm. I had more time to think about what, how, how, how it would come across and keep focus on the right part of the story, but yet, yet make it interesting in that. And uh, each phase, I, I, I just had to think of what everybody does at night, <laughs> too, you know, like they're chasing fireflies and one and... People yeah. People are looking through the telescope and other things, or there's a Halloween scene in there, or whatever. But uh, just to keep that interesting, um, I had these little people around there, but um, <laughs> a happy accident was that it, when you printed it, it's like three or two or three values darker. So some of the, it's hard to see some of the night scenes. Oh, but, uh, okay. Uh, the librarian said that kids love to try to find the little uh, picture or what's going on in there and look for little people and stuff. So they, they had made it kind of like a little adventure to try to figure out all the... Yeah, like a little I spy there. going on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah. yeah, because here, like, there's a swing set, and if you weren't looking for it, it's hidden. And, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, very cool. Now, where can listeners... Um, Pick up a book if they are interested in, in um, seeing this and reading it. Uh, yeah, I think they have um, several local bookstores. It's in the Barnes and Noble in Toulouse, okay. and it, um, you can go on Amazon. dot com and get it, and in Barnes and Noble, their website, and Itasca Books, their website too. Okay, but she's been placing them around in in uh, lots of gift shops and bookstores around and okay cool and it's new moon's family by erica adams and illustrated by you eric soderstrom so soder soderstrom 
Soderstrom. Yep. Okay, so, cool. Scandinavian, but yeah, Soderstrom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> Soderstrom. Oh, that's, no. that's, that's super funny. Okay, very, very cool. And, of course, I would imagine, like you said, the libraries have them as well. So your first um, book, and you said that she's got another one in the making. Are you going to illustrate that? Because you're, like, way into dragons. Is that what I understand? Uh, doing, like, yeah. mystical stuff? Yeah. yeah. Um, well, this one's a, like a young adult novel. So if I do that, it'll, it'll be oh. the cover. Oh, it would just be the cover. Maybe a little thing here and there. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, gotcha. Yeah. Where can listeners find other work that you've done? You said you're with the Voyager Art Club, and your stuff is down by the depot in your in that building there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and are are you showing any other at any other locations right now? Um. I met the, uh, up in Grand Marais, there's our gallery, uh, the, the Big Lake. Um, I'm, I have several things up in there, too. But otherwise, I'm just, uh, just getting stuff out on my Facebook page in here and there. But uh, how'd, you, how'd, you yeah, get, a- how'd you get into art? I mean, is this just a, a new thing you've picked up, or have you been doing this for a while? I believe you went to school for art, didn't you? Well, yeah, well, um I went to actually. I went to school, and I was going to be chemistry, biology, and I started taking uh, art classes. And then once I started taking more, it just kind of snowballed, take more and more and more. So, I mean, I just love it, and uh, I've always it's always kind of been on the back burner because of paying bills and, <laughs> and family and kids and stuff. Right. But it's my kids are getting older now, and uh, I'm just trying to get stuff out out in the world a little more than that so that's so awesome and what is your preferred medium that you work with um i i mostly draw with pencil just through the years just because it's the easiest to pick up and set down again okay and uh but um i i do whatever i get my hands on sculpture pottery Ooh. Um, drawing and uh a little bit of painting here. Now, now digital art. Now that I um, <laughs> figured out how to do it on the computer, that yeah. that is hilarious. That you seriously got your first computer because of this book. I love it. Yeah. Love yeah. it. Love yeah. it. Yeah. In a few YouTube videos later, <laughs> I, I got a book out there. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, and besides the fact that you're extremely talented too, so don't cut yourself short on that one. So, well, thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness, Eric! I have to let you go. Anything we didn't talk about that you really wanted listeners to know? Um, no, I guess just uh, pick up the book. It's a great book. Um, I'm not making royalties off this book. I was just a hired gun in that, but uh, yeah, uh, it's very yeah. enjoyable. Like, I've heard people say it's an heirloom book and that, so pick it up, and, uh, yeah, I guess that's about it, and look for me out and about. <laughs> so. Soderstrom, am I saying that right now? Soderstrom. Soderstrom, yes, S-O-D-E-R-S-T-R-O-M, and you are in Grand Marais here at the Voyager, and, uh, um, yep. and the, the book is New Moon's Family, very... Very, I like how you called it an heirloom book because that's it, it's like a, in a prominent place on my bookshelf, and I don't have a huge bookshelf, so very, very awesome. Thank you, Eric, so much for calling in. And uh, remember, you're a winner. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Okay, I um, when that dragon book comes out, or if you get another show going anywhere, or if uh. You know, if you want to touch base, you got my number, and I would love to uh, have you in studio. That would be super fun. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Eric, you have a fabulous rest of your day. Yep, you too. All righty, thanks. Have me on. All right. Yep. yep. <laughs> Eric Soderstrom um, from Silver Bay, originally from Two Harbors, now lives in Silver Bay, artist extraordinaire and illustrator of Erica Adams children's book New Moon's Family. It really is a fabulous story. So you can um, check it out on Erica's uh, webpage at E-L-A-T 
tales, T-A-L-E-S dot com.